talking about. Just what I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Got it! Holy crap! How you doing guys? Today is February the 21st, Friday. I took a three day weekend off from work. The high temperature for today is only going to be 41 degrees, but it's going to pour rain Sunday and Monday. So I wanted to hit, it, hit this place before it goes back to chocolate milk. It's going to be ruined 100% sure here in a few days. We wanted to get out. We're doing three tactics to catch these fish today, guys. We have three dozen minnows, so we got certain poles that are rigged up with just a hook and a split shot, and you just let them fall right below the canoe, or you can just cast them a little bit. We're also gonna be vertical jigging, one ounce bucktail jigs like this, various colors, one ounce. Why? Because we are fishing anywhere from 20 to 60 foot of water. We're also gonna be using a tactic called snap and drag jigging. It's where you use a jig head that is at least a half ounce, but a lot of times three quarters and one ounce. You let it fall all the way to the bottom and then you either snap it up by t giving it a little twitch, hopping it off the bottom, letting it fall back down, or you just reel it in really slow to where it's either dragging the bottom or just barely above the bottom and also 20 to 50 foot of water. So we got three different tactics. We're gonna find out which one works the best. We also have worms too, if we wanna switch up the minnows with a worm. So let's get on them guys. Let's see what we can do. No walleye there. We need to focus at least the last two hours on vertical jigging. But you can do that while you're fishing with a minnow at the same time. So it won't be totally boring. That's how he caught his flathead, though, was vertical jigging. I'm telling you, it paid off. It, it can pay off if you're patient enough. <clears throat> it just gets boring, but you got to keep at it. When it's this cold out, that's the number one bait is hair jigs. And we'll tip them with a minnow. You'll put a minnow on there to add action to it. First fish already on a minnow and hook. Yeah, you do got one. Spotted bass. Good good sign. I guess we'll stay here a little longer then. We we're starting to get disappointed in this spot right off the bat, but uh, maybe there is a little hope here now. The bad part about this spot, folks, is the canoe keeps spinning because we're at the end of a creek channel. So there's an eddy right here. I should have brought both anchors. Man, he's real pale, isn't he? All right, yeah. Let me zoom. I'll just zoom in on you. Good job. Hold on. I'm going to take a picture with my phone, too. Just hold it just like you're doing. Good job, man. Okay. Now let me zoom out, and then let me get my phone real quick. I'm going to take a picture of you with my phone, too. I want to get pictures today. Good job. Did he bite real light where you could barely tell, kind of? That's the way they were doing us too. You can barely hold on. I'm zoom. I'm zooming right now. You got another one? How come I ain't getting nothing? She's on another one, guys. I must be throwing out to the wrong spot, or they don't like my double minnow presentation. Maybe I got two minnows on mine. You sure do. It's acting like maybe. Yeah, you got a fish. 
I'm going to throw it out where you're at. Spotted? Yeah, another spot. It's not bad. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Uh-huh, that one's bigger. Yeah, that's a pretty one, though. Yeah, he's pretty fat. All right, guys, she's on her second spot. A lot nicer one, too. He's pretty hefty. He's over a pound. I don't know. I don't know, huh? I'll just get a different one. All right, guys. Nice spot for Wilma there. Wow. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, they're in. There we go. Didn't even know he was on there. It's decent, whatever it is. He he was not even pulling. I was just moving it. So that's what you got to do is move it. It's nice. Nice fish here, guys. Whatever it is, he's staying down. And he's fighting pretty hard. Almost feels like a flathead. No, it's a big bass, though. Man. Nice spot. Wow. Boy, he swallowed this big time. I, he, there's no telling how long this fish has been on here. This is the biggest one of the day so far, though. <sighs> They're just real lethargic. They don't even let you know that they're on there. Yeah, he's two pounds. Wow, it's all the way down. There's no way I can get it, even with pliers. Oh, boy. Maybe with pliers, you're gonna have to get me the pliers, I can get it. And I'm gonna have you take they're in that got it and got my minnows back that's a miracle just leave the pliers out okay all right guys i'm gonna show you the spotted bass wowzers that's a hoss <sighs> guys i got my second spot i got them figured out now you won't get a bite if you just throw your minnow out and just let it set on the bottom. About every 45 seconds, you just scoot it about a foot. Well, there went my minnow. That was a good minnow, too, and he's still alive, man. Dang it. He just went right under the canoe. Anyway, you've got to scoot your minnow about every 45 seconds. Just scoot it about six inches or lift it up and let it fall. If you're just dead sticking it, they don't touch it. Caught both of mine the same way. So that's what, as soon as you move it, you'll feel that bite. It's the only way they get interested, I guess. All right. That's four spotted bass. No other species yet. Even though we're doing pretty good here, we're gonna move here in about 10 minutes. I guess give me a minnow, honey. Might be in the wrong spot. Nope, I got a fish. Oh, it's bigger. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, he's feisty. I wish they'd quit shaking that dang minnow out because they're still alive. I could use them again. It's wasteful. Well, he's barely on there. He's about to fall off. Yeah, I mean barely. It's not even, he's gonna. He's about to fall off if he keeps that up. <sighs> Boy, he ain't giving up though, is he? All right, folks, I got, for, now it is officially three to two. I am, I just took the lead. For whatever game we're playing, whoever catches the most fish and the biggest fish, I guess. Another spotted, hooked him in the bottom lip. 
upside down or pointing down. Weird hook set, but it worked. You got one too? All right, we got doubles, guys. We're gonna have to take a picture of both fit. Us holding both. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Me and her just got twins. Pretty much twins. <laughs> yeah. Hers may be a little bigger, about the same. Yeah. <laughs> We're catching pre-spawn spots right now, guys. They are. My finger's already destroyed. Yeah, they're full of full of bait fish, I guess. <laughs> Doubles. We are on them, guys. You know what I'm gonna need here in a minute? Cause they keep shaking the dang minnow right by the canoe when it's still alive and it swims away. All right guys, today I'm using a Cast King Lancelot spinning reel paired with a fish bones pinnacle rod, six foot six with 12 pound P-line fluorocarbon coated line high viz and seems to be working good so far it's the first time i've used this reel just got it a couple weeks ago and it's just been sitting in the bedroom i know Oh yeah, it's a nice one. I can already tell. Oh yeah, he's a two, at least a two. Oh. Hold on, okay. You lost your minnow though, yeah. Oh yeah, man, what a hoss. Pretty nice. That might be the biggest one so far. He's got the hardest fight for sure. Wow. Oh, can you please give me my minnow back for one? Nope, it just fell off. It. No, slid up the line. Now it's gone. <laughs> Every time, I always have my minnow until the very end. That's that's a that's a hoss. Oh my gosh. Whoa, he's bigger than I thought, guys. He's easily three pounds. Wowzers. He might go three and a half because these, so, these spots are so girthy and fat. I'm not going to weigh it, but he's an easy three. Boy, they're just real pale right now from that water being muddy last week. They would normally be prettier this time of the year, but... Uh, the water just now cleared up, so... I'm gonna send it to Will. Little brute back in. Fish of the day. What a spotted. That was a nice fish. I'm gonna send that to Will real quick. You almost hung. Got him. You're in that, that little spot they're setting in. See, I'm too far out from it, I think. It's right in front of you is where they're setting. He's a pretty small one. Fish, though. Yeah, it's decent. <laughs> I 
I think we've caught four or five each now, guys. We're getting close to ten fish. At least eight or nine. for your other pole it works I'm telling you haven't got hung yet all right guys I'm using a one ounce chartreuse and yellow jig head with a four inch boxy ringworm made by authentics and what I'm doing is just dragging the jig head across the sand sand flats in 20 feet of water Wilma's on one with the minnow. Good job, hon. Now we're on nothing but smallmouth watch. I hope it's a mix. Yep, smallmouth. We are on them again, guys. We just had to find them. Took us a few minutes, but this spot always produces for me, so I knew. The spotted bass were all down past the rocks where it's just sand, and but we're on the rocks now, and these smallmouth relate to it in the wintertime, if not all year round. job honey we both got one they're all about the same probably it's the way it was when me and Will was here I can feel it just dragging the sand that's all I'm doing once in a while, you'll just feel a hard hit. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. All right, smallmouth guys on the minnow. While I was reeling in my lure, I seen my pole just start twitching. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have the pliers. God, definitely a plier fish. Oh yeah. Get him back in, he swallowed the hook. I had to cut the line. Hope you make it, buddy. Wilma's on one again. Probably a smallmouth, my guess. She's doing, we're both doing really good today so far. Spotted. They're mixed. Good. That way we don't get burned out on the same fish. It's a decent one. He swallowed it. Swallowed the hook again, didn't he? It's side, it's in his gill. Did you hook it there? <laughs> it looks weird. There went your minnow again. <laughs> it's just the line was hung on his gill. It's not bad. 
bad of one. Yeah. Pretty decent. Got him. Alright, Will was on another one. See, they're all cookie cutters again. They're all them, everyone's 13. But hey, it's better than not, not catching any. It's not terrible. They're just all the same. Might be bigger. It is. It's not bad. That's a decent smallmouth here, guys. <sighs> not bad. Oh yeah, he's 16. Oh, it feels so much better with my gloves on, guys. <laughs> Once again, I got him on the one ounce ringworm, green green colored <sighs> not a bad smallie you wanna I guess here <sighs> well, we're really into them ain't we both methods are working good just as equal Guys, I'm gonna get this small way back in. This is a little better than the ones we've been getting. I need a, oh my gosh, Wilma's on another one. Oh, you thought you had a fish. Maybe you did, you could. He must've got you hung. Well, that one destroyed my ringworm pretty much. Yeah, you got one. Spotted again. There we go. They're mixed today at least. Not bad. Swallowed the hook because he was on there forever. Oh, man. God. Look, we're losing a lot of hooks today. I don't know. It don't look like it. Probably not. It doesn't look like I can. Another spotted bass. It's not too bad. About a pound. Big one. Oh, you got something nice. Yeah, you got a nice one there. My goodness. Spotted, probably. It's fighting like a spotted. <laughs> He's going from side to side. He kept switching sides. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a small mouth. It's like the one I caught, about 15, 14. Not bad. 
I'll take a picture of you with the phone. Hold on. That one's worth taking a picture of, I guess. Yeah. Hold on just a second. Hold on, I'm zooming. Okay, lower it down. Oh yeah, finally. Drag method. Drag method once again prevails. That's the third time it's worked, guys. And I'm about to get hung up on my other line if I don't watch it. Damn, I did. My God, it's a big old spot. Oh, man. Yeah. God. That, was, that might have been the biggest one. Baby Sauger. Yeah, with just a minnow and a hook. My first Sauger of the year. Oh, he's got snail larva all over him. Hundreds of them. He's a baby Sauger. I mean baby. Look at that, hun. All right, guys, a little sauger. About <laughs> eight inches, nine inches. It could be a walleye, it's hardly so small. No, it's a sauger. Oh boy, what a minnow just sitting there. So they are below us, so I guess I'm not gonna move then. If we got one, it's stupid to move. Here. Guys, another sauger right below the canoe, honey. Right below it. Oh, that was a walleye. All right. They are small today. He was right below the canoe, directly below us. All right, guys. Hey, one sauger, one walleye. Definitely not the size we're after. Look, honey. Look, 10 inch. Got him. You got some? Yeah. All right, we almost got a walleye. Good job, hon. So we know where they're set at. We just got the wrong bait. We need bigger minnows. Swabby dang. Your very first walleye. You've caught saugers, but never a walleye. Your very first time. All right, guys, Wilma caught her very first walleye today. So we accomplished something. Oh, I got one. All right. Oh, it's a bass. Wrong kind. Yeah. Tiny. Hey. <laughs> no, okay. Oh, that's for sure what I had too, but I didn't. Got him. Got a goggle eye. Ooh. Not that bad a one. 
I got both of my minnows back too. He's not too bad. I want him on film though. All right guys, I just got a nice goggle eye. It's about, oh, six. So that's what I had earlier. <sighs>